And we're back now with Sunday House Call. Some new research this week shows that bullying in your teen years can lead not only to serious psychological damages, but physical as well. Everything they say from headaches, dizziness, backaches, insomnia, and abdominal pains and more. Dr. Siegel, it really is a serious problem across the country. It's really important, Eric, for internists like me to remember to ask people who come in for anxiety or even for something like back pain or abdominal pain, what was your childhood like? What were you dealing with in school? I have to tell you, there's a group at UCLA that has done incredible research on this over the past 15 years. They created a school called SEEDS, S-E-E-D-S, where they've studied bullying. Six, in sixth grade, about half of the kids they studied were bullied. In, in overseeing this program. And of course, it's by report only. But the problem with bullying is you may be patterning, patterning your parents' behavior. Then you may turn around and become a bully yourself and bully somebody else because identifying with the aggressor is a very, very big problem with this. And again, you develop more sensitivity. Even if you tough it out, even if you learn to be tough, you still carry the scars of that for the rest of your life. You end up being very emotional. That's kind of shocking that, that it's, you can carry it with you throughout your whole adult years. Eric, this is a serious problem, and a lot of parents that are listening to this should pay attention. 160,000 kids refuse and skip going to school, and this is because there are a lot of kids out there that physically, emotionally, and now today is all cyberbully on Instagrams and on Facebooks, ganging up against real good kids that end up having academic achievements reduced, emotional distress, emotional scar, and it's a serious problem. Now, there's no real solution that, you know, we can put out there, but for kids, they need to know that there's always help out there, and speak up, and you don't have to be embarrassed. There's nothing wrong with you. There's something wrong with those kids that Absolutely. are bullying you, and you need to understand this if you're listening to this. For the parents, they need to know that they need to pay attention to very, very subtle sensitive things. For example, if the kid is running to you and is hugging you more than usual, something is unusual. If they don't want to go to the school bus, we have dealt with this uh, in our family and everybody has had a case where if the kid doesn't want to go to school because these guys are bullying them or they're not, their eating habits goes well, they're not sleeping well. And biggest thing is now all of a sudden all the grades are A's and then it goes to C and B and D's. Something is wrong and you don't get help. They don't say anything. I mean, the parents don't know. No, but wait, but what about the parents of the bulliers, what did they need well, to tell, I have to tell you, those kids? I've handled bullying in all three of my kids, and I don't, the solution I have, I'm not going to recommend, which is I intervene myself. It's really the school that's supposed to intervene, but if the school doesn't, the parents should. But I'll tell you something, there's a film out there called Ant Bully that came out about 10 years ago. I love this film okay, because Ant, Ant Bully, Bully okay. it's an animated film, I'll tell you what I love about it, creates another solution. It shows what ants do, the ants do, oh. their teamwork. They, they have very, very positive spirit. They band together. You can join up with a group that's not being bullied, or you can join up with other people who are being bullied and resist. Okay, but what about, what about those parents of the bullies? They have they, a very they, important role to intervene and, and make sure that the kids are trained well, and that's part of the problem. The question for Mark is, how do you know that your kid is being bullied, and how did you find out? That's a real difficult part, because the kid don't talk about it. But David, I think you've already this, provided the answer to that, which is your kid may not be going to school. They may right. not be feeling well. They're not doing well on tests. That could be I think it. this important part where it says like like have a support group there are good kids out there that you could join and always ignore try to get out of that mess if you get cornered and when you run out of all the solutions your parents guidance counselors teachers they're out there to help you so you don't need to hide behind this one, you final, po one final point we're also talking about emotional bullying today which is really great to bring up because girls actually are subject to that more than boys are Bo boys they may you may get shot in the mouth with a girl it may be more taunting that's just as important well, well, you girls, yes, you're speak right. up. That's the point, is you need to speak up and ask for help. Great advice. Very good. Thank you.